if f of x equals 3x divided by the quantity 2 sine x plus cosine x, we want to find f prime of negative pi. Because our function f of x is a quotient of two functions, to find the derivative function, we'll have to apply the quotient rule, which is given here below. Where if function f is in the numerator and function g is in the denominator, the derivative of this quotient with respect to x is equal to g times f prime minus f times g prime divided by g squared. which means in our case, f prime of x will be equal to a quotient, where notice how the denominator is just a denominator squared, so we would have the quantity two sine x plus cosine x squared, and now our numerator is going to be g times f prime minus f times g prime. Well again, g is just a denominator, so we have two sine x plus cosine x times f prime, which would be the derivative of three x, which is just three. Then we have minus f, which is three x, times the derivative of g, which would be the derivative of two sine x plus cosine x. Well, the derivative of two sine x would be two times cosine x. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. We have minus sine x. So this would be our derivative function. And because we're trying to evaluate this at negative pi, we're not going to simplify this. We'll now substitute negative pi for x. So f prime of negative pi would be the same quotient here with x replaced with negative pi. So our denominator is going to be two sine negative pi plus cosine negative pi. This is all squared. The numerator is going to be two sine negative pi plus cosine negative pi times three minus this would be three times negative pi, or negative three pi, times two cosine negative pi, minus sine negative pi. Now we'll determine the value of cosine negative pi and sine negative pi using the unit circle. If we wanted to sketch negative pi radians, we would start here, and then rotate clockwise pi radians to here. So this would be the terminal side of negative pi radians. On the unit circle, x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. So cosine negative pi equals negative one and sine negative pi equals zero. Since sine negative pi equals zero, let's go ahead and simplify this. This would be zero, this would be zero, and this would be zero. And now we'll substitute negative one for a cosine negative pi. We'd have negative one here times three, that's negative three. Next we'd have plus three pi times two times negative one, that's negative two. Now going to the denominator, we would have just negative one squared, which is positive one. So this simplifies nicely to negative three minus six pi. In just case we are asked to round this value, let's go ahead and get our decimal approximation to four decimal places. Just keep in mind we don't want to round unless the directions tell us to. Negative three minus six pi would be approximately negative 21.8496 rounded to four decimal places. This would also be the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative pi radians. I hope you found this helpful.